there's only one right way to end this episode. Of course. It's for you to do your own Coke and Mentos experiment. Of course. Oh, the Mentos thing. Oh my God, I love these. Oh! Why did you have to put your mouth on it? What did you think was gonna happen? That only hurts my throat thinking about it. Why would you put your mouth on it? I get it, you don't want anything to spill, so like that's your first thing to think about, but do better. Oh boy. He loves me, he loves me not. Oh, it made it. <laughs> he pointed at himself. What? See, <laughs> you have to clean that up. Is this a challenge? <laughs> he just looked so baffled. Like, what did you think was gonna happen, my guy? I've like seen people on YouTube start to do it here and there, but if it started back up on uh, TikTok, that makes sense. <laughs> I cheated on you. Candy can, I love candy can. I cheated on you. <gasps> Oh, that's good. Wait, why is she holding it? Hold on. You're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The couple that we're gonna be with each other forever. Oh god! Your big brother's gonna beat me up. Yikes! Your big brother's gonna beat me up. Oh, I guess that's true. Oh. <laughs> Okay, that one's actually cool because it's in slow motion. Why do they act like they don't know what's gonna happen? Have they never seen what it does? I don't think I would just like do that with my friends. Like, yeah, let's just make a mess. I'm a virgin. I'm not surprised. I'm a virgin. No way. That's so cool. <laughs> I actually still believe he's a virgin. That one actually was pretty, pretty creative. Oh, gravity! gravity. Oh, and we have lift off. Gravity! Ah! <gasps> Is it? Whoa! Oh, that's sick! Wait, what? That was cool. That was sick. I enjoyed that one because he's in a safe environment. It is an open space area and nobody got hurt. It's a chemical reaction. It's hilarious. That's so human nature to be like, oh my God, it's crazy. Loves it. Loves it, cute. Oh, I thought it'd go farther. It looked like the car was pooping. I just, I just think of like how sticky everything is. Oh my God. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I want to just be like. <sighs> I've never seen a Coke thing that big. I feel like the Mentos people are thrilled. Like no one's talked about Mentos since like 1902. This is when you know you live in a first world country. When <laughs> you take the money and buy Mentos and Coke just to do something like this. I just think it's just a waste of like Coke. It's one of my favorite sodas. Pretty f***ing lame. <laughs> oh it's gonna get crazy in there. Ooh, yes, we love science. Run. You better run. Whoa, okay, that one's cool. I like that one. Look at all that foam. Whoa, whoa! Whoa! Woo! That's so cool. That's actually kind of satisfying. See, this is like, this stuff is really interesting to see like, see people push the limits and see what they can do. Let's get creative, you know? And this stuff is like, a lot more interesting to see. I hope this is the new ASMR on my explore page, just Mentos. Oh, it's like ASMR. I like how everyone uses the same plastic fish bowl. Such a waste. At least they're using Coke Zero. I like that it was like, the thing in like 2007 to do, and now it's randomly back. 
Just not as satisfying, unfortunately. You expect it to just like, you know? But the thing is that they're using a pretty open fish bowl. And the cool thing about the Coca-Cola bottle is that because it has like the thin neck, all of the stuff just wants to rush out. And it doesn't really work here. I mean, it's still cool, but it's not as like crazy as like the fun ones where you just like throw it mm -hmm. and like you see it like explode in slow motion. <laughs> For a 10 year old to, to do something like that, that's like super cool. But like we know it's gonna happen. And so it's like, how many times are you gonna do it? <laughs> So those were all some recent videos of some TikTok trends involving Coke and Mentos, as well as some viral experiments with these same ingredients. So did you realize that this was kind of viral right now? Uh, no. Cause this was viral like so long ago. Trends come back. I feel like every 10 years we like fashion comes back and now we're kind of seeing it. It's kind of similar with the internet. It's coming back. Soon we'll all be on Facebook again. So there have been some YouTube channels recently that have been making these Coke and Mentos experiment videos like the ones that we just showed you with a certain type of thumbnail and title and have found some serious success. So we want to have you guess how many views do you think these videos have gotten oh since filming this episode? Probably a ton. Those are the exact same thumbnail. Experiment, Coca-Cola versus Mentos. We'll see what happens. Both of them are verified. I'm feeling like it's somewhere in like the 500,000, 600,000. Knowing people, it probably has like what? Five million views or something. Mr. Gear, that sounds like a name that has a lot of views. Something insane, like 100 million views or something. <laughs> where, where Mentos is like, I can't buy this kind of publicity. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a 5 million. They're both verified on YouTube, so I'm gonna say over like 2 million. And then, I feel like that's so little though. I'm gonna guess like 10 million. There For you sure. go. There's more people on the internet than just 2 million. So here are their views. Oh, okay. I was. Whoa, whoa. Ah! 27 million views, 130 million views. Cheese and rice. I mean, I get it, but like, don't you guys understand that the same thing happens every single time? I feel like babies are clicking on this. It has to be everyone on TikTok. It's just curiosity. Like, they're just like, I wanna see what happens, you know? Almost like clickbait, because I've seen like things like that like on my Facebook, like, oh, watch this and see what happens, and then you watch it and it's like, oh, never mind, it's nothing. But you still end up clicking it, so it counts, right? How many people have 10 minutes to sit and watch a Mentos thing? I d do not get it. So as you can see, these videos did extremely well, especially with how tough it is for YouTube creators to kind of understand the algorithm and what really does well on the <laughs> platform. <laughs> especially in 2020. So now that you have seen some of the recent Coke and Mentos videos, you may remember that this was actually something that went viral several years ago. Mm -hmm. So we wanna show you a little bit of one of the first viral videos with Coke and Mentos. Ooh, fun. You're gonna play the classics? Play the classics, girl. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is react so many memories. Yes, I remember seeing this like a long time ago. Look at that, it's a water show. Beautiful. <laughs> Bellagio who? Get it, get it, hey. There's a lot of thought in these. Go off, go off. See, this is what I find fascinating about it, because they kind of make it into a little art. That's fun. Way more fun than a tub of Mentos and gallons of Coke. Whoa, it's so badass. See, this is cool. Do that on TikTok, I'll be like, all right. See, like, I'd rather watch that than like a giant explosion. Loved it, that's cool. It looks like the Bellagio fountains. Bellagio on a budget. By the way, less is more. Like, you don't need 8,000 Mentos and eight gallons of Coke to make a, make a splash, as it were. So it seems like Coke and Mentos experiments, pranks, and challenges are going viral right now, but as you saw, this is not the first time that this has happened on the internet. So from seeing some of the more current Coke and Mentos videos, as well as some of the original viral experiments, why do you think it's going viral again? Mm, because everything is a trend and everything circles back, fashion, music, food, whatever. 
Um, and as new generations are born, they haven't experienced it yet. People wanna try it out for themselves, see if it really happens, and it does, I, every time. Guarantee you. It's fun to see again, even for those of us who have already seen this like so long ago, um, just because at the end of the day, everyone's gonna get a little excited when you drop a Mentos and O-Coke, you know? We're all, we all know what's gonna happen, but we're really excited to see. Honestly though, nothing beats that first video. That was like way too epic. People are always just gonna try to bring something back. Bring 29 scene back, please. I want that scene trend to come back. So one of the first times that people saw this kind of experiment go viral online was from the last video that you just saw by EpiBird, which was originally posted online in 2006 on their own website. Mm -hmm. And within nine days of the site going live, they had over 20 million views. Jeez, and that's on their own website. That's not YouTube, that's on their own website. People had to go to type in the domain, go over there, probably load up their dial-up internet to go download that video. Think about that, like 13 years ago? That's crazy. Like the internet was still, I mean, it wasn't brand new, but it was still, wasn't such a huge thing. So the creators were even invited onto the Late Show with David Letterman, and they actually won the very first ever Webby Award for viral video they in did? 2007. Whoa, that's crazy, that's history right there. Amazing history, Mentos and Coke, who would have known? So kind of living in a time where there are so many viral videos now, mm -hmm. how do you compare old viral videos from like 2007 era to the ones that we have now? Well, I think, I. I, I think it's gonna be easier to make things go viral just because we have more access to it. You know, we're doing it on our phones in 2006. I don't think we were watching videos on our phones. I feel like old school viral was, there There was more thought put into it. Now, I feel like those don't have any, nothing has thought because you could just throw music behind it. The viral videos of today are so gimmicky and they're like just mass produced because that's what they're trying to do where they seemed like they were trying to make a really cool video. Everyone else is like, I'm trying to get to 10 minutes and get a lot of clicks on this. So finally, there's only one right way to end this episode. Of course. It's for you to do your own Coke and Mentos experiment. Of course, of course. They brought in a pool. Yeah, I'm ready. You know, I'm a little nervous. I hope I, I can do this right. I'm glad I wore brown though, so if it gets on me, I'm chilling. I hope it's worth the hype, but I'm very skeptical. Here she blows. That's like a pretty fast It was something. Oh yeah. It was really something. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React. Shout out to Cole HD. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an episode. What experiment should we try next? Let us know in the comments. Bye guys. Hey everyone, Laura Producer here at FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to see more episodes like this across all the generations, we have so many. Make sure you check them out. They're gonna be in the links down in the description. Bye everyone.